It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got something, well, I'm hoping it's going to be really, really good this one. Really, really kind of like a, a combination of great old school British brewing and a little bit of the new world thrown in. Now this company have just sent me three beers. One of them, or two of them, like roasty, toasty, biscuity, bready, traditional, great British brewed real ales. And this one is their kind of hoppy number, if you like. They're, they're more new world beer. Because let's face it, face it, even these very traditional breweries, they have to look to the West. They have to look at what's going on in, in America, in London, in Europe, in, in, in Australia and see that people seem to want to drink this type of beer more and more and more as the kind of years go on. So this is called, uh, it's from the Marlow Brewery. Now they, these have been going since 1993 and this is their Rebellion 24 Carat. A golden and distinctively hoppy beer at 5% ABV. Dark brown bottle, so it's not gonna let any light through whatsoever to give the beer any light strike, so the hops are gonna be great, fingers crossed, and, and it's all gonna be wonderful. We got a black bottle cap with the Rebellion. So I think what it is, Rebellion is the, is what they kind of name their beers, but it's actually the Marlow Brewery. So without further ado, we, we have a pint glass here. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. I think when a brewery decides to send you their beers, they're quite confident. They're quite like, you know, they're, they're very proud of them. They're proud of their beers. Of course they want them showcased. Of course they want people to see it. They want people to buy it. So please check out the Marlow Brewery. But I don't think it's just about selling their beer. Of course, that's a very important part of any business. But I also think there's a, there, when a brewery decides to send you beer on our YouTube channel, there's an element of pride. They're proud of their beers. They want to see them on YouTube. They want to see people like me stoning the crows. And that's the reason why they choose to send. Yes sales massive thing about it but at the end of the day as well yeah they probably drink their own beer on the side and go oh that's a smashing pint because most brewers got into brewing because they want to brew the beer that they want to drink and i tell you that for a fact so beer in the glass we got a one finger white head good levels of carbonation as the beer rises up the glass. And it's a very nice looking beer. Look at that for a golden. Isn't that very, very well behaved? Lovely golden looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh, that is hoppy. Wow. It's like marmalade on rye. The, the, like a fine orange marmalade with all the peel in it, all the little bits of the strands of the the, the, the peel in the orange in, in the marmalade. Wow, it smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's like marmalade juice. If ever I wanted to close my eyes and say, say somebody's come up with like a, a, a weird marmalade beer. I wish somebody would call a beer marmalade. Make a, I mean, 
that would be a great. I mean, what 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 Marlow, the the Marlow Brewery should do is brew something very very similar to this and just call it marmalade. And, and it would be like the most like iconic people would be like oh my god i'm drinking marmalade it, it, it's this beer is so marmalade like orange marmalade even a little kind of like posh marmalade when you know when you go to like castles or visitor centers when you've had a day out and you see little pots of cloth top with a little rope around the, the, the top the little lovely jars of marmalade this this is this is exactly that in the glass it's really good it's really really good mm. oh. so what i like to do with a beer like this it's got mouthfeel it's five percent abv there's some great malt qualities coming through as well it's like light wafer biscuit flavors I like to hold the beer in the mouth for a few seconds. Just hold it there. Let let your palate kind of like explode with all of the flavours going on. And then sink the beer down and then swallow it down. Because it, it you're just kind of giving all your senses, all those lovely beery senses that you've got, all your taste buds. You're just giving it like maximum attack. It's like, whoa, this is fantastic. It's it's got great drinkability to it, this beer, but it's also got a great mouthfeel. It, it, it's slightly creamy and rich. That's, a, that's that kind of 5% ABV, the malts that they've used in the beer to get it to that kind of quality. But it's good. It, 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 it's marmalade on right. It, it, the, the malt is, is kind of biscuity and, and lovely and slightly peppery and spicy. Whether they've used rye, should we have a look? whether they've actually used rye in the beer. Uh, hops dominate the character of this beer. We've used New World hops and a blend of traditional homegrown malted barley to give this golden beer an intense tropical aroma and a distinctive bittersweet flavor, typical of a contemporary American pale ale. So they haven't mentioned that they've used um, rye. I wouldn't be surprised if they use rye in this beer, you definitely get that kind of slightly spicy rye flavour coming through. Uh, they're from Bucks, Buckinghamshire. Oh, I love it. I love it. There's something quintessentially British. I say British. People would say quintessent quintessentially English. Um, I I love it. I love it. Like, even even being kind of like living in Barry Island. Being a Welshman in Barry Island, I love that kind of jumping on the train, going to London, going to these wonderful places, visiting the historic sites. And when I'm in these historic sites, I pick up bits and pieces from gift shops um, only because my wife and my two, three girls, they, they love doing that sort of thing. And I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, I come across this beer in like a Buckinghamshire gift shop somewhere. It's just got that lovely feel about it. That air of quality, a lovely air of quality about this beer. It looks fantastic. Look at that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It smells fantastic. It smells terrific. And it tastes really good. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. A lovely bitter finish on the back end. A nicely balanced beer. Yeah. Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.